Hey, what's up guys? Mash Shiny here. Come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the thing that Valve could do that's actually pretty reasonable and something we couldn't really fault them for that would break the entire CSGO market. Let's hop on into it. Now, all over the world, inflation is starting to run wild. We've seen some crazy things such as the euro and the US dollar being even, which really does not work well for people who use the euro to try and invest into CSGO. They lose out a significant amount because of this rate and overall they just get at the short end of the stick. But today we're going to be focusing in on the effect that inflation is going to have in terms of the actual CSGO game. Now when CSGO first released their skins in 2013, $2.50 was the price for a key. Now this is actually $2.49 and when you include tax it gets a little iffy depending on whatever you're looking at, but generally speaking we're going to say $2.50. Fast forward to today where we're having significant economic changes in the world and that $2.50 in 2013 is actually worth more around $3.14 today. This is about a 25% increase in what that value was versus then. Obviously, that's a 25% increase that Valve could actually put on their keys, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. If Valve decided to change the price of their keys, it'd probably go to something like $3.49, adding a whole nother dollar on. So we're going to be talking about what impacts that could have and why that's actually a possibility. Now, in my opinion, Valve has already started to implement some things that help gain them more money, which really hasn't been based because of inflation, but could definitely see a lot more outreach because of inflation. The first one is we haven't seen an Operation Pass sale for quite a while here. We didn't see it with Broken Fang and we didn't see it with Riptide. And while I don't think this was specifically brought up because of inflation, it's definitely something that has not been helped by inflation. That $15 price point those passes originally had was actually an increase from the previous operation where we saw in Hydra that the pass was only $6 along with every other operation before that. We hopped to Shattered Web and the Shattered Web cast comes out at around that $15 price point but receives a sale and then the past two operations have just been the exact pass with no sale. Now, like I said, I don't think this was specifically targeted at inflation, but the fact that this value has been creeping up over time, especially the cost starting from $6, and then we fast forward to today where it's a flat $15. And I think the next obvious thing that's coming up for Valve is to might be getting rid of the sticker sales, the 75% off sale. They could turn that into something more along the lines of a 50% off sale. I don't think that they would get rid of this entirely because this does make a significant amount of money for them and it is something that a lot of people look forward to but I could definitely see reducing the actual value that it has. If you reduce it down to 50% from 75 cents, that is a double in the cost of the capsule and therefore a double in the amount of the money going to Valve. Valve would start to get around 50 cents per capsule, which is absolutely crazy. And honestly, I find this much more likely than them just getting rid of the sale entirely. We've seen a lot of capsules sit around that 25 to 50 cent price point for an extended period of time, whereas if they got rid of the sale and this newest major was only available at a dollar, people probably wouldn't be buying a ton of those, instead they would be buying some of the older capsules that are still a little bit cheaper. But if we see those ones reduced down to 50 cents, we would still see a ton of people buying into this new sticker. Now we get into the big thing of what would actually happen on the CSGO market. Well first up, let's talk about what would happen with the keys. If the key price went up a dollar, we could almost see an immediate spike in every single skin price. Now most of these would end up coming down at least a similar amount. I don't think we're going to see everything shoot up in price and stay that high, but rather we shoot it up in price and then we'd lose about 75% of that peak. I think everything would increase a little bit in value and it would definitely be overstated in the beginning because that's how the CSGO market works. Everything always happens with an overreaction and then it comes down to the actual price point that it should be. Yeah. After that, I think we would see a lot more people looking towards trade-ups rather than CSGO cases. I think cases right now are sitting at a very precise equilibrium for the most part and that's why their price has been slowly creeping up for a significant amount of them. We really haven't seen a peak this year which is probably something to do with the fact that we haven't seen a mass rush towards one case or another. But if we get something like this major update I think a lot of more people would be focusing in on trade-ups which would help 
increase the value of some of these cases. Now obviously this is a very big hypothetical and it's very hard to make a lot of actual real assumptions about this hypothetical, but I do think this would not be good for the overall CSGO market. We're going to see a lot of people upset with Valve and we're going to see a lot of FOMO investing, which you know might not be a terrible option if you're looking to get out, but generally speaking, FOMO investing is not something that benefits the market in any way, shape, or form. With all that being said though, this video is a little bit shorter. It's a little bit more fun based than most of my videos are because we're talking about something that hasn't happened, but something that does have the possibility to happen in my opinion. Something like this, especially if we consider inflation being a big product in the next couple months, we could definitely see something like this where we see an increase in the price of something along the terms of keys or whether it's the sticker capsules in game or whether it's storage units. I think something is probably going to change in the future. But as always guys, I want to hear your thoughts about this one because this is a little bit more of a hypothetical video if it's something you want to see in the future or if we should just stick to the normal content that we've been making in the past. But as always guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.